Marion in Barcelona, Spain writes to me, Hey Paul, after changing the capacitors in my crossover with Mundorf MKP, the sound has improved significantly. But after reading a bit regarding the resistor's importance, I did another change, replacing all the resistors with Mundorf Supreme resistors, and again, the improvement was significant. What's your opinion regarding the importance of resistors in crossovers? Well, my opinion of the quality of parts in general uh, in crossovers is I have a very strong opinion about that. You want to put the best parts that you can afford inside of a crossover. When we build speakers like the FR30, the Aspens, we spend a ton of money on the crossover and the parts, and we listen for endless hours to capacitors, to resistors, of which there aren't many in our crossover. There's more capacitors and inductors, but all of those components matter a great deal. You have to, when you use inductors, for instance, you want to use the appropriate kind. Sometimes air inductors, air cores are better. Sometimes iron cores are better. And sometimes you have to have a combination of, uh, of different kinds of inductors that are available to you to get the best sound. And certainly capacitors, huge. But resistors, well, I said we don't use many resistors inside of the crossovers for an FR30, but to the extent that you do use them, absolutely. Remember, these are passive dividing networks, and everything you're listening to through the speaker, whether it's the massive IRS5s or the FR30s or the 20s or our new 10s, those all benefit from the quality of parts, of, from the drivers to the cabinets to the crossovers. Oh, heck yeah. You betcha. You betcha. Okay. Thanks for the question. Take it easy.